Hello, River Landing. Jesus said a house divided against itself would not stand. His statement is true whether the house is your personal life, your family, your community, or your nation. In this season of Lent, I believe we should be praying that our nation can find healing. Isabel Wilkerson is a Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist who has written a book entitled Cast. She uses the same metaphor as Jesus, but with a little twist. I wonder if you've ever seen one of several TV shows about fixing up old houses, and I mean really old houses, the ones built before power tools and indoor plumbing, built by artisans. I've had friends who bought these old houses. They were drawn to the nostalgia and the architecture, but they were always having to fix something all the time, which is just part of the deal. Miss Wilkerson writes that our country is like an old house. It is magnificent at 250 years old, but it needs work. Not because it was built poorly, but because it's old. When you buy an old house, you get it inspected. You need to get a good idea about how much and what kind of work it will need. You need to know how it was built and what's behind the walls. That's why we try to understand our history. It's not to be critical of our ancestors, but to understand how to repair or remodel the house so it can be a good place to live. Our national foundation was as good as it could be at the time, but there wasn't insulation back then, and there's some rotted wood now. You can't wallpaper over mold. You have to address the cause. It's not about blame. It's about our responsibility in the present to be good stewards of this nation so we can pass it along in better shape than we found it. The metaphor works for churches and denominations, too. As a country, we are not responsible for the evils of slavery or Jim Crow, but now that it's our house, it's our responsibility. Our country needs repair. Our churches need repair, not because they are bad, but because this is the nature of life with an old house. The only way to keep this nation livable is to be clear-eyed about reality and to be engaged in mending what is broken. A house divided cannot stand. Let us pray, my friends.